Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verses 28 through 34, where it is written. One of the scribes came near and heard them disputing with one another, and seeing that he answered them well, he asked him, Which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, The first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Then the scribe said to him, you are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one, and besides him there is no other. And to love him with all the heart, with all heart, and with all the understanding, with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as ourself, as oneself, this is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to ask him any question. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, of all the religious books written, all the ink that is spilt, it comes down to two sentences. Love God, love your neighbor. Sounds simple. Yeah, it, it sounds simple. And then you get out there and you try to do it. It's hard because, man, there are some real neat, dodgy people out there. You're not serious have to love them, God. Yeah, he is. No. And this exposes the great human dilemma. And I think anyone will argue that people's skills are the most important thing in life. Because it's politics that makes the world go round. No, I don't mean our national political parties, but I mean just to get what you want personally, professionally, you, you can't be, uh, whatever I want. You've got to cooperate with people. And so pleasantries, good people skills are so often exposed as just a polite way of manipulating others to get what you want. How do I act? Um, other people aren't around. How do other, what do other people say about me? I don't care. I couldn't care less about people's skills. Only They're only important to me in as much as I can get what I want out of life, personally and professionally. But that's not really love. That's not being an idiot. That's self-preservation. But is that really love? Our Lord confronts us with something that's very alien. To do the right thing, to be kind to others, because that's what God has created you for, not just to get what you want out of life. It's alien. And when the world fell into sin, that part of us became very, that part, God created us to love others, be in community with others, and when we fell into sin, that part got severed. We rejected God, and we're just, that's not part of who we are anymore. We become selfish. It's all about me until Jesus Christ comes and he dies for our sins and he dies for our selfishness. And then in the resurrection, he imputes his self selflessness, his non-selfish nature to us. And life then becomes a journey, a journey whom we were when God called us, to who will be called eventually a saint in Jesus Christ's presence. So in our life, we're on that journey to sainthood. What we're here to do now is to learn that we interact with others. We have good people skills, not to get what we want out of life personally and professionally, but because that's what God has called us to, not just our own interests, but to truly love others and to truly love God. That's why we're here, and that's why God has created us, not to have our own whims met. So that's life, learning how to live out these two commandments. How can we do this? Only with the help of God. Let us close with prayer. Lord, give us patience. Lord, remove our ego and narcissism from us and give us your eyes, your heart, where we put others in front of our own needs. Amen.